DeMatha Catholic High School is located in Hyattsville, Maryland. We are a school that is strong in athletics, academics, and the arts. In terms of our basketball program, you can't talk about DeMatha basketball without mentioning Coach Morgan Wooten, first high school coach ever to be elected into the National Basketball Hall of Fame. When he retired, he was the winningest all-time basketball coach on any level with over 1,200 wins. He established a legacy here that we've been very proud to do all we can to live up to that. We've had some really good players to play here. You got guys like Markel Fultz, Victor Oladipo, Jeremy Grant, and then you got legends like Adrian Dantley, Danny Ferry. I can keep going on and on. I've known Hunter since he was in like the sixth, maybe fifth grade. He's playing against kids that are his age, but he's so much bigger than them. When he got to seventh and eighth grade, we made him a priority to come to DeMatha. Of the great legacy that was there before me, I wanted to step in and be one of the next best players to come out of DeMatha. It's rare for a freshman to play varsity here, but he did that. And then from his sophomore year on, he was one of the best players in our league. One of the rare players in our league in the WCAC that was a three-time first team all-league member. That sets him in a class that's rare in and of itself. He becomes the Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Maryland. He becomes the Washington Post All-Met Player of the Year, which is one of the, if not the single most prestigious individual award you can win in our area. And he also was our Conference Player of the Year as a senior. I just try to go in and try to win WCAC championships. That's the big thing, and I was fortunate enough to get two of them. But along the way, I did uh, rack up some wins. With all the great players and all the great eras of the math of basketball, he was on track to be our all-time winningest player with 122 wins. Hunter got stopped at 119 because we did not get to play our last six games of the season because of COVID. I think it's pretty safe to say that Hunter would have shattered that record and may have put it out of reach. He's definitely going to go down in our history books as one of the greatest players to ever play here. Hunter, he's, just, he's a great kid. He was our mascot. If you went to a football game, there was a seven foot two stag walking around, patting heads with kids, doing push-ups. The legs were kind of small. It didn't, it didn't really fit all the way. I don't know, I felt like it was good publicity for the school. I mean, he was our student body president. Like, I mean, that's, again, you have a seven foot two student body president. He knows what his future could possibly be. And uh, to see him really go after that, I, I could not be more proud. Three one goal, Dickinson offensive rebound, put back, and a foul. For Hunter, he had so many schools that put a good effort into trying to get him to come to their school. But ultimately, Michigan, I don't think anybody can argue was the right fit. Dickinson with a slam. He was looking for a place where he was going to get pushed by someone who could truly do everything they could to get him to the next level. Coach Howard, just being able to trust him was something that I had a lot of faith in. As a big man, I just felt like he was the right man to coach me. Hunter has been on the high school level where he's been able to dominate because of his skill level. But now you're coming to a collegiate style of play where guys the same size as you, and then also guys that are skilled and quicker and stronger. And then now Hunter is now understanding the speed of the game is a lot different than the high school level. But you can see with his production each and every game where he got better. Here goes Dickinson again. And one, and right now the freshman, he's just too strong for Penn State. Now, you know, the country is seeing like how he's just blossomed before their eyes. For Hunter to be seven foot two, he has the basketball instincts. He can read the game. His mind is always working like a quarterback would or a point guard. Or great recognition there. He's so effective in the interior, shooting 72%. Dickinson is just a handful. Now, I feel like I'm always doubted uh, because I'm a big white guy who plays with his back behind the basket. 
they're just seen as not really big factors in the game today. But I take that with a chip on my shoulder because I feel like I'm much more than just your average seven foot white guy. I love that Hunter plays with a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> That's beautiful. That shows the signs of a competitor. And you continue to have that chip on your shoulder until you finish playing and you retire from basketball. And Hunter has a chance to play on an NBA level if he wants to. Dickinson counted and a foul. When you play on the next level, you're gonna be playing against some very talented, high-level dudes. Having that chip on your shoulder is gonna give you that edge you need. 